What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents of light? This is your boy, Light Luciferian Prince, coming at y'all once again. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I hope that guys and gals, I should say, are enjoying the videos, ladies and gentlemen, so forth and so on, whatever you wish to distinctly call yourself by. Hope you're enjoying the content. Hope you're enjoying the series. And I hope that you're actually delving into what I call, quote unquote, the Luciferian Doctrine. Now, a lot of people have had their biases about the Luciferian, you know, doctrine. And I think that a lot of people have been uh, indoctrinated, like I said before, by preconceived notions and dogma and doctrine of what we call, quote unquote, the church and how it has played an effect upon the spiritual development of humanity. Now, a lot of people may not agree with what I have to say as far as, you know, coming across as, you know, Lord and Light Luciferian Prince and, you know, Luciferian Doctrine and so forth, because a lot of people look at these disinformation or misinformation channels and they try to have some sort of built up uh, notion about what Luciferianism is. But if you understand and overstand and understand and understand what all of these concepts are, if you even look in the Satanic Bible, you have to realize that if you look through a through N, when it talks about this specific uh, demonic entity, so to speak, in which people call upon, if you actually look through A through N, there is no L. So that is basically <laughs> the, the, the connotation where this entity, which people know as Lucifer, which is the light bearer, was the share of truth, which is the emboldener, which is actually the guiding light, which is actually the, what we call, quote unquote, Morning Star is actually supposed to assist people in their journey upon higher spiritual development. However, because dogma and uh, years of repeated abuses in history that has actually, you know, continued throughout the centuries has actually dissuaded people from actually coming to a higher truth. Now it seems like it's demonic. So you better be aware that what you, they, they want to prescribe for you is good. It's not good. And what they actually want to prescribe to you as bad is actually something that you should actually reverse. And that's called reverse engineer. Learn a very significant truth in less than three minutes. But let's go further. Here we go. The most important knowledge you will ever read, implement, and live forever. Here we go. Now I know a lot of people get a little bit spooked because they're in a one-dimensional pattern or they're in a limited sphere, I should say. But let's talk about the other realm. If the other realm enters ours, it would mean an immediate war. Counter matter forces such pressure on the self-conscious programs which develop in it. God, which is the demiurge, to cause the development and to win those battles to be annihilated and to perish forever. An example, imagining blackness or nothing. Therefore, to meet the very demands and ensure his survival, an additional plan was introduced to create a very, very versatile and unique gods, which were prepared to deal with the danger on their own. Think about it. A species procreates to cause the combinations of his many genes. So if a virus, <laughs> so it's quote unquote Corona, bacteria would penetrate the defenses it will kill only a part of the whole species of the organism, as there will be certain units or parts who are resistant to it. The same is with the plan. The thing is that those two worlds would collide. The fight will be perpetuated very probably in the enemy grounds, so there will be no protective arm of God, which perhaps only access to the counter matter. It's possible that such fight takes only already place somewhere else in the universe. The current version of your reality features a software reversible time. Let's go further. <laughs> it's going to really cook y'all noodle. You're in this game alone. Although cooperation of others is vital to your survival, it's only between you and the source of verities, a soul has been created are residing within the register, the virtual world, which is what we interact with, with experiences and attain knowledge. 
imprinted on them. Physical world is merely a testing ground for the preparation of those guys and expansion of the existing knowledge. It's nothing more. Let's go back to Psalm 82. Ye are gods. Learn. Settings of this world reflect the God's intent. It must resemble on one hand properties of the survival deeply embedded within to it, but last usually didn't realize the purpose of knowledge increased. So morality is imposed. Creatures populating it must also have what they call free will. The ability to think, whereas the last characteristics is an immense pressure is placed upon that individual besides certain actions needs not to be rewarded with some heavily punished it creates an array of problems troubles and issues which needs to be self-imposed furthermore god's presence as far as the creator's demiurge presence is considered needs to be hidden because religious people god would give it to them god help which is a waste to serve the purpose and to realize the plan, let's get one thing straight before we actually get misconstrued. You are created maximally imperfect because usually only stupid and ill dumb create a variety of problems and the most mistakes which serves the need for development brings new knowledge at best. However, it couldn't be below the level of anarchy because it won't bring much development at all. At most, wouldn't be able to realize the goals of creation. To suit it at best, think about it, genders were introduced, where a man was created slightly above the level of anarchy and woman as a very important motivator for the first, even below it, therefore, a woman needs upbringing by a strong man, which she deeply desires. Those who do not possess confidence as the primary requirement for their development, intelligence, success, are typically exploited by the last, that those who utilize it as weakness. Let's roll. The perfect and knowledgeable use and apply their understanding and skills to the task, which brings little or no new knowledge contribution, as there is no need or way of improvement, really. Everyone is born pain, stupid, and imperfect. He or she needs to work, capitalize the W, his way up or her way up, and conquer his or her limitations, comfort zone, habits, etc. Using the Inverse rule is to prepare you. Character and desire abilities are shaped through adversity and hardship. So all these people that's coming on these channels telling y'all that they are so perfect, making it seem as if these individuals have had no problems, have had no quandaries, have had no situations in their personal life. They are fucking lying to you. You know, they're sitting here lying to you. And me on my channel, I have no problem saying what my particular mistakes were because I had realized them, I lived them, I experienced them, I went through them, and I actually in deal with them in my own essence. So all these people make it seem like they're just sitting here skating through life scot-free. They're skating through life scot-free because you allow them that privilege to actually have the access to that type of knowledge or that type of mind state, and you're feeding the parasitical mind. Start taking your energy back to yourself and start questioning these people. You just learned a very significant truth in less than nine minutes. Let's go. Here we go. It is vital to know that there would always be the next step in the way where you'll be obligated to handle it and which might be bothering only to you. For instance, if you desire to become a millionaire, which everyone desires, according to the materialistic sense. But yeah, let's go. You be faced with poverty, an example in your childhood. Even the very rich, they've got problems and issues way beyond what is known to those who have financially little. As they are constantly faced with the imminent threats, financial loss, bankruptcy, competition, money allocation, investing risks, etc., Let's go to the last. Enforcing survival to finish promoting immortality, however, silently rewarding only the moral. This double dealings can be understood if you would see it from the bigger picture. You would need to be prepared. Fight for yourself to become a hardened soldier in the process. And number two, in life, 
although without attacking and destroying others who might not have stood the chance to grow or reach a certain level of skill in the battle of life and death, which is to come, it is an obligatory requirement. Less than 10 minutes. <laughs> Let me tell you something, people. Those who are out there in the YouTube universe, I love doing what I do. I love doing what I do because I know that it enhances the quality and life of people who actually wish to attain a certain level of accountability in their personal life, which is fine. Because this is the mature concepts that we have to actually engage in as we, we mature and we excel through this space and time we call the universe. But it doesn't mean you have to isolate yourself, nor does it mean that you have to limit yourself to a certain particular level of positivity or a certain level of regularity, I should say, to what the world wants you to deem yourself to be. So it's time now that a lot of people who actually have held on to the doctrine for years and let it lay dormant. Let let the dust collect on the shelf and just lay it on the side and have totally abnegated the um, abilities that they actual higher potentialities call for. And then they want to turn around now when things are becoming more confusional. And then they want to activate them now. You should have been doing this for years because it's all about your higher development. It's about your higher self. It's about your perspective. One thing that I'll tell a lot of people is you have to get out of your system. Get religion out of your system. Yes. Now, people might find that conflicting for me to say that, but get that out of your system. That is a systematic idea of you actually perpetuating your life in the design of what another man wants you to think. Then you have to get statecraft out of your system. Get it out of your system. Get that out of your Con, your, your, your coinciding idea and understand and overstand and understand and understand the higher sense of self. Higher sense of self means that you're supposed to actually magnify yourself by the degree in which you were actually embedded with and which is called spirit and get back to the spirit and understand what spirituality really is and stop buying into somebody else's fucking scheme because religion is a scheme. <laughs> Period. It's a scheme. It's a scheme. It's a scam. It only provides more revenue to the state-based economy called religion. Straight. <laughs> now, people might find it odd for me to believe, but you got to realize that you were not created to be limited in a certain perspective. You were created to be actual an investment in your own self and actually give certain credence to your own being and to actually actualize yourself based upon a notion of what you know is best. And you will not learn this shit in no university, no school, no nothing. Because everybody that's out there in society formulates themselves to construct themselves, to build walls around them, to give them hedges, as I say, and quote unquote, live according to what the system dictates. Get the fuck out of that. Especially humiliated people. Because for us to have the highest spiritual resonance and for us to let other people tell us what we are, you are not telling them who you really are because you're not actualizing yourself. So you better wake up quickly. Don't blame anyone for your lethargy in your own spiritual development. If you let someone else dictate to you what it is, so be it. Y'all stick, y'all stick around for more cosmic truths because YouTube shadow banning me. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm not mad. It's fine. Stick to it. Make sure if it's your first time viewing this channel, hit that like and subscribe button. You know, make sure you hit that all button so every time I drop a video, you'll be notified. And people, <laughs> there's a lot more significant truths that you have to be introduced to that you have not. But <laughs> I thank my creator for my higher purpose. Branded, stamped, and certified. End of discussion. Peace, light, love. Agents, do not contact me. I do not consent, nor do I oblige. Y'all stay tuned for the next upload. Peace.